Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Geet and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a minute I've made a video with myself on the camera, so it feels a little weird. We'll get adjusted though. Thanks for sticking around. So last week, Apple actually updated the iOS platform to iOS 14 and iPad OS 14. There was a whole presentation for it, but on day one, they never brought up the idea of updating shortcuts. And oh, the shortcuts is like a 15 times better application now. I mean, in my opinion, it was the best feature of iOS 13 and with this update, it continues to be the best feature of iPad OS and iOS 14 as well. Before I get started, I want to say that I'm showcasing all of this on beta version 1 of iPad OS 14. So anything that I'm going to talk about today might not be relevant tomorrow for all I know. Although the app icon has remained the same, at least to my eyes, but they have definitely made the colors of shortcuts inside the application much more vibrant. You don't have the old muted colors where the blues look pretty much like the greens and reds look pretty much like oranges. In order to utilize the large screen of the iPad, you also have a navigation pane to access gallery, automations, and your shortcuts. Share Sheet contains all the shortcuts that have Share Sheet option enabled and you can add shortcuts to Share Sheet by simply dragging them to the Share Sheet section. If you want to remove shortcuts from Share Sheet, you can select them by using the Select menu and then hitting Remove from the menu that shows up. If you use your iPad as your only computer device, you probably have a lot more shortcuts than I do. In that case, you have the ability to organize your shortcuts in iPad OS 14. Apple now allows you to finally organize your shortcuts in folders. You can create a new folder with the new folder icon on the bottom left in the navigation pane and then drag the shortcuts you want to move into that folder. You can also start by selecting the shortcuts you want to move and then create a new folder and move them using the move menu. At least in my case, I've created a folder for one-time shortcuts and this way I can keep those one-time shortcuts away from my regular shortcuts so it's easy for me to review and delete the ones that I don't use anymore. Well, it's no secret that iOS pretty much stole Android's implementation of widgets. And overall, it's a positive thing because Android knows how to do widgets better. So why not just take that and implement in iOS? And I'm all on board with that. I mean, the shortcuts widget is so much more powerful than it used to be. For instance, I have a shortcut to enter tasks on to-do list and it asks me for a text input whenever I run the shortcut. In iPad OS 13, if I were to run that shortcut in the widget, it would actually jump to the shortcuts application and I would have to run the shortcut inside the application. But with iOS 14, it would show me a text input dialog box, but that would show up as a pop-up on top of everything that I'm doing. I can easily navigate back to whatever I was working on without any, without jumping through applications. Before this update, most automations were not necessarily automations. You would actively have to to kind of interact with your device to run a shortcut that would be considered an automation. In my opinion, that's not an automation. If they had added a few more triggers, which now includes incoming messages and emails, wind down routines, time of day, and even battery level. Before this update, if you ran a shortcut with menu options, it, the menu would show up arbitrarily wherever the shortcut was placed inside the shortcut application. It was extremely inconvenient, which is why they have revamped the whole process. Now with iOS 14, when you run a shortcut with menu options, all the menu options drop down from the top of your screen in the middle. This is probably a minute change for most people, but this means a lot to me. Lastly, there's a quality of change for the main shortcuts page on the iPads. When you start editing a shortcut on your iPad, the actions have moved to the right side instead of the left side. As a right-handed person, I think it has made it easier for me to pick up the iPad, hold it in landscape mode, and start editing a shortcut. As a last change, I don't think it means anything to anybody. Shortcut finally supports multiple instances of the same app. You can have two shortcuts open side by side at the same time. You can have the same shortcut open side by side at the same time, but it doesn't add any value because you cannot really take action from one shortcut and drag it onto the other one. Maybe it's coming in a future beta, but as of right now, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. This is Geek.